Hello YouTubers, I have been uh, spending my money again, um, although not too much of it because I, I don't believe in buying designer tools, but I have gone for the Halfords Gearless Ratchet. Now I've used Halfords Ratchets for a long time, I've had this one, which is the Flexi Head one, one long handled, I've had that for a good 15 years and it has been absolutely brilliant, can't fault it, I've got a spare mechanism for the head, not that I've ever broke it. I've also got the short stubby one, I've not had this one quite as long, I've had it a good 10 years, that one though, on the uh, 3 8 and they're brilliant little ratchets, they come with a lifetime warranty, I ain't broken them yet, and if I do break them, there's always a Halfords just around the corner that's open 7 days a week, so you can go and get a replacement anyway, like some of these designer ones, you know, if you break them, they will replace them, but you've got to send them off, and they've got to come back, you know, it'll take a week for them to go away and come back, with these you can just literally drive to the store and, and replace it straight away anyway I've got a long handled and I've got a short handle and I thought I'd try the gearless one so I thought I'd give it a quick review no one else has reviewed it or given it a go and I fancied one so I'd have a quick go and it is it literally if I it's just going back though isn't it it is you need very little movement because there's no teeth in there there's, there's no uh, if I can get him around the right way, you can see how little movement you need. So you hardly need any backwards movement at all. And it will. Like with the ratchets, you have to obviously engage it. So I don't need any, hardly any movement. So I thought, yeah, I'd give it a go. So uh, let's unpackage it, sorry, and see how it goes on. So I shall remove, I've got my clippers. I'm prepared today, I've got everything ready unpackage the thing and we'll give it a go and quick test to see how it goes it's always harder doing this when there's oh I've got to go. I thought I was prepared and I've just realized I need to unscrew it with a Phillips oh well I'll unscrew it with a Phillips then Now it's not bad value, I mean it came, cost me 20 quid, I do have the trade card though, with the trade card it cost me 16 pounds. So that's not bad at all is it, I might put them over there. So there we go, that's the actual ratchet itself, quite a nice little thing, obviously it's got the Halfords logo on it, so there's no... <laughs> And it is weird, it doesn't make any noise whatsoever. It's a little bit rough though, but I'll try the anti. Right, let's test it out, shall we? We'll see if I can find something to test it on. Okay, so today what I was talking about gearless. With with my this is my flexi head socket. Actually I go on that one, you've got a slightly better view on that one, haven't you? There we go. I'll stand around the camera so I can see what I'm filming. So basically, it's it's fine when you turn it, it's when you need to, to ratchet it back. How far does it need? There we go. So we're at about the 90 degree. There it is. Okay, so you can see how much movement you need in order to do anything. I shall use... I shall use my uh, other one now. So again, we'll do the same thing. It's exactly the same socket. It's my 14 mil deep socket. So if I get them to about 90 degrees, I can very tiny amount. So basically, you, you, you don't need that, uh, you don't have to wait for the ratchet to click in, basically. You can move it a very small amount, and it just bites instantly, which is what we want. I'm trying to do the minimum amount that I can do. There is a little bit of a play on the socket. 
and the nut though, so it is taking up a tiny bit. I'll try and stop the, the socket from going backwards. But you can do very small amounts at a time. But there we go. Oh, nice to have had a job I could use it on. I can't think of anything. It would be nice to have. I can't think of anything that I can use it on at the moment, but there we go. We'll have a look inside, shall we? See what the uh, mechanism's like inside. All right, and let's see if I can do this on camera. I always have trouble doing stuff on camera because the camera's in your way. See if I can get him off. Come on! Come off! I'm spinning him around now. Right, hang on a second. So there we go, a bit fiddly to do on camera, but there's, there's one of these each side on the outside. Get it in frame. There's one of these on that side and that side. And then you just got to remove one of these from the centre. It's just pinged out, which was from here. So we'll bring him out. And basically, that's, that is the inside. So we've got, that's the body. He's going to come out now. Couldn't get him out before, but he's just fallen out now on camera. So that's the inside. Zoom in. I can't remember what side he was on now. Doesn't make any difference. And here's the interior. So basically, all it is is roller bearings. Zoom in, stupid camera. I'll have a look, see if we can see how he works. And you can see there's ball bearings and there's like a hexagon. Does he come off? Oh. If I take the ball bearings off, it's just like a nut. So what happens is, from my understanding of it, is the nut traps the bearings and grips it. And when you turn it the other way, all you're doing is that. And you can see it... Oh, a stupid camera, oh, zoom in properly. There we go. So when you turn the little lever, all you're doing is moving from one set of bearings to the other. And it traps the bearings in that direction so it won't go. So you can bring it back and it won't turn. Now if I turn it the other way... Oh, crikey. If I turn it the other way, it will turn, but then you can't move it back. It's trapping the bearing on the back edge of the nut. So it can't turn, basically. That's what it's doing. That's what it's doing. I'm going to be a bit careful. I don't want to break it on the first if I've even used it. Uh, let's have a look. Is it a plastic? It does, is that a metal case? It is a metal casing. On some cheaper ones, I've heard the actual case is plastic. So let's just have a... No, that's definitely a metal case. I'll take him out completely. Yeah, he's definitely a metal case. So uh, yeah, I've heard che cheaper makes with with plastic insides, which isn't good. But I can confirm the Halfords one does come with a metal inside. All right, let's put them back together again. Do you reckon I can do this on camera? I couldn't get it to pieces on camera. I can take it to pieces. I just can't take it to pieces on camera. I'll put it down there. I'll get my sear clips on. Have it go on. I'm not good at doing things on camera. I'll try and rebuild it back for you. It might take a while. You might want to make a cup of tea. It's the pressure, you know. The pressure. There we go. Right then. So he should go in there like so. I've got a mini won't come out. There we just stop. Come on. Come on. No, he's come out again. Right, come on, in you go. In you go. There you go. He's in, pal. In you go. Right, and then this little bad boy goes in that side. You might want a screwdriver. Come on. In you go, you know you want it. 
You know you want to... Actually, if I put them the other way around, there's a bit of a lip on there. And that's for getting the uh, damn thing in. Is he in? I think he's in. He is now. He's in. Alright, I'm turning round and we've just got to do the one on the other side. Bring him down, get him in there. Get him in. He's a bit fit. Oh, he's got it. I got him in by hand. Didn't need a screwdriver for that one. Just need to close him up a little bit. He's a little bit loose, is that one. It'll never be as good, but there we go. Back together again. I'll make sure he still works. <laughs> Come on, come on. Right, so there we go. I'm holding the white way up, he's uh, got part of the place in my socket. Oh, all the rest of my sockets. So I've got uh, three sockets. I've got this bottom bracket one as well. And I've got my torque wrenches. Right, thanks for watching. And I'll do another video soon-ish, I hope. Bye-bye.